probably completely contrary to what my business does, um, <laughs> although I, I, do, I do run two listed funds, but I would, you know, the, 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 particularly the Spanish listed property sector pre the black box IPOs, you know, is completely bombed out. So there must be a theory that as you see strong valuation improvements in Spanish real estate assets that, you know, Colonial, whoever hold, and they're all very highly geared, that you're going to see an enormous impact on NAV, and therefore you should see an enormous impact on their share prices on an 18 to 20, 18 to 20 performance view. So I'd probably buy Spanish, the historic old, still surviving Spanish real estate stocks. Very good. Um, Jason? Uh, I guess it depends on, you know, what my return target is, but... You can decide. Well, <laughs> let's, I, mean, I think I'd, despite what I've said about Italy, I'd maybe look at the, the list of closed-end funds out there, uh, which are in a bit of, or have been in a bit, in a bit of trouble and have probably have access to quite a few assets, uh, trading you know, certainly below their NAVs, and there might be an opportunity to do something there. Um, and perhaps free up some of those, those portfolios. Okay, good. Marco, I know you're a lawyer, so you don't need to tell me that. Please don't give me a view. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, well, I can only possibly, of course, invest in Italy, and uh, particularly because <laughs> I'm a lawyer, probably I'm less worried about complications and spending time and complicated things, so I probably would look at selected opportunities, probably that would look and appear complex, might require a bit more effort than usual, that their potential, probably that's just my approach. Okay, very good. And last but not least, Adolfo. Mm. Well, I guess I would concentrate on where we see the main gaps. Um, as we discussed before, I think the, the, the investment case now needs to underwrite the fundamentals, um, and we need to see where there is value. Um, I think it is a fact that we haven't seen investment uh, done and no debt available either in, the, in this region. So there are many, many opportunities of renovating stock, repositioning the stock. So everything around that segment is still a good time because still debt is not available. Uh, equity is more available, but uh, it is not so easy to deploy that equity and to implement effectively a business plan for repositioning assets. It's a small complex of buying a 10-year lease. I think uh, putting together um, you know, good asset managers, experience, track record, and capital in an intelligent way, there are many, many good opportunities in all many three countries that we have discussed. I think depending on your risk return, you can put a bit more, you know, in more mature markets, and mature markets, more liquid markets, than liquid markets. I think I guess if you make it right in Portugal, even if it's a small, maybe you could have very good returns, but then you have to kind of balance liquidity and risk return issues. So depending on your risk profile, I, I would distribute. Definitely that's a topic. Uh, restructuring the capital the stock um, and being tactical about uh, specifically maturities on that is, is, a, is a big opportunity, and there are many, many opportunities of that sort. It is true that uh, more and more we will access to more debt available, but still there is much more debt than needed. Uh, uh, so uh, I'm sure that we are going to see opportunities there. Um, we haven't talked about residential. I know it's not so much a topic normally for this audience, but um, I think there is a big, uh, and people like Blackstone and also are being very active, and they were in the US. I think there is a good investment case for residential, especially good residential for leasing, for renting in, in, in these geographies. I think the, the topic for 20 years has been, you know, buy a house, it will be always a good investment, uh, never for, you know, it will be. But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of things have changed, mobility, alternative investments, etc. And I think more and more at the end of the day, the, the consumer is finding that renting is a, it's a, it's a, good, it's a good option. And I think if you tend to do new residential with services, mix mixed projects, I think it's a topic as well, you know, combining residential, hotel, and tertiary uses. I think with good scale, I think we miss a lot uh, of these products at uh, good scale in the main cities in, in Southern Europe. And then maybe if you want to be a bit more spicy, maybe entering into the alternative investment uh, sector, which, uh, which uh, it's still very, very immature in those markets, but provided there is more liquidity to come, I think we will see. We are seeing already, you know, more capital into resorts, style, more capital into, you know, uh, uh, residence for, for older people. Um, hotel, I wouldn't say it's an alternative investment, but obviously uh, it, is, it is a strong market and we don't talk so much about it. And Spain, I think there are 
Spain, uh, Italy, they are good. Italy, especially, there are many, many good opportunities to renovate the sector. So, a bit of everything, I guess. <laughs>